Hello everyone, so happy new year guys. Um, so this is our first tutorial in this new year 2019 and in this tutorial we will just scratch the surface of a tool called CMDER. So to make the long story short, CMDER is an advanced terminal emulator. You can call it a console, yeah, just like how yeah, by default Windows come pre-baked with uh, a command line interface called CMD. Um, it's like this. It doesn't give us much of the uh, bonuses, but it gets the job done. So these guys, a couple of guys came with this tool called CMDR. So with CMDR, we are going to look at what you can achieve um, with CMDR. And um, the first thing that we, we, we can talk about is how to download CMDR. Yeah. So if you go to this website called cmdr.net, you will look at uh, what exactly the features here which have been advertised, showing what exactly you can get with CMDR. So if you want to download it, I just recommend you go for the full version here. Uh, the good thing about this, uh, it comes with Git for Windows pre-installed in it so you just want you just have to download uh, this package for cmdl and you have git out of the box so when i say git i mean this so if you have a you have a you have a, a new directory mkdir a new directory called maybe um test and you see the in test and you want to make this directory a git repository just say git in it and if you say git init, there you have it. So for those of you guys who, are, who, who know what git is, actually, you get the idea. So that's the first one. The second one is you have equivalents of um, some of the equivalents of the commands you find in Linux. Um, and they do the very same thing uh, that, is, that is done in Linux, but now you do it in Windows. So let's say you want to list the files. Uh, you can just do um, ls this command actually is in linux it is in linux it's not in windows so but if you have cmdr you can do the very same thing uh, that accomplishes the very same task like you were in linux i hope you get the idea and um and the other thing is that you have tabs so if you are a guy like me who likes to work on different tasks, maybe. So for starter, let's maybe go in this project. And uh, for some reasons, you want to um, you want to serve this. So this is a Laravel project. It's a Laravel project, but uh, so a Laravel project has got two ends. One end is the uh, PHP end, and the other one is the um, the, the JavaScript end, you can say, actually, it's not, it's not only JavaScript, it's JavaScript and CSS. So if you are writing Vue and, and Sassy CSS, you would want to compile that down to normal JavaScript and CSS. And you would also want to have um, your project running live, maybe on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a certain, yeah, on a port, on a certain port, maybe port 80, so that once you are editing, you can also see the output. So that's it. So what you can do, you can use tabs. So you, you come to this uh, icon here, create, uh, click on new console. And if you say to write, then you will have another tab to write. So you can just see the, in that, uh, in that, in that, in that directory that you want. And thereafter you have two tabs and you can navigate between the tabs by clicking. So you click this tab, it becomes active. So if this act, if this tab here is active and you want to create another tab maybe beneath here, here, below here, you can just do new console. Because this tab is active, if you say new console and you say to the bottom and uh, you have another tab just in, in, in the bottom here. So if you do, um, if you do um, maybe PHP artisan serve, you have your project uh, live here and maybe if you have your, your your assets running maybe you want to compile down your assets you're a guy like me who do vujs and sassy css you do yarn run watch uh, uh let's do npm uh, uh, run watch 
Uh, so actually I don't have YAN or NPM installed, too bad. Yeah, but I think you get the idea. So that's the second thing, you can do multiple tasks. Yeah. So the other thing is that, uh, let's see how we can exit these tabs. So if you do exit, this means, yeah, you are out there. And if you do control C, then exit, then you, you can now create and exit the tabs just like that. So the other thing is that, um, uh, yeah, the actually the, the last thing that I would want to share with you guys about Tmax is that um, there is this one thing called alias, aliases, which are very powerful if you, 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 you know how to use them. So aliases are like something, some little type of code that you write that you can memorize yourself that accomplish a certain task that is, um, it takes amount of your time typing it down. For example, maybe, so the very simplest example, maybe I'm here, so I have two directories. So there's workspace and this is online. So I want to go back from this directory to the very home directory, maybe the very, yeah, the very root directory, which is local disk D. What I would do, I would tap CD, then dot dot to the first, to the, the out now, after writing this command, this means I will jump from Geongas Online to Workspace. If I want to go back again, I will add the other, yeah, the other dot dot forward slash. This means now I am here at this root directory. And if I hit enter, I'm there. You can, I think you get the idea of navigation. So let's go back to Workspace and Geongas. Uh, so what if I could write a code that could do the very same thing without doing that? Because I'm doing go back to directories, maybe. So if I do that, yeah, actually it is not recognized because I have not yet created that. But if I do alias and I say go back to directories and I say equals cd dot 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 and I hit enter. And I, so from this time, I will have the power of saying go back to directories and hit enter and it will do, it will go back. So there is this error, which is a bug, I think. I don't know, but for some reasons, for some of you guys have to do the very same thing I want to do right now to make the feature of aliases active or available in your CMDR. So what you want to do, you want to open your CMD, go for the, uh, uh, the icon here, do properties and check this use legacy console. And um, after doing that, I uh, just relaunch your, your your CMDL windows. And if we go, if we go back to where we were, and we say go back to directories, enter, and there we go. So for some reasons, you have to do that so that this um, feature for aliases can be active. So you can you get the idea. So this thing becomes very powerful for some uh, for for some longer. Uh, um, commands like git add everything so you just want to keep typing every every time you have to keep typing git add everything git add everything git commit dash m git push live master git push origin master things like that so you can just yeah you can um, automate them by doing alias then it, the, the the name of the um, the, the memorable the, the name that is very easy for you to remember you can say git add for GA, git add everything, and you can say equals git add everything. So if you do that, that alias has been created now. So if I go to uh, workspace and I go geongas online, so if I say GA, perfect. Everything now, the, so the, the, I have added every changes in my git repository. If I say git commit, and if I say, uh, and, I, and I say it's equal to, um, uh, let's say git push, so say alias, then git push is equal to uh, git push live master. And I say that. So when I say git push and say gp and hit enter, it will start um, pushing to the live master. So unfortunately, we don't have that branch. I hope you get the idea. So that was it for you guys. Happy New Year, guys. And uh, Stay tuned, there are a lot of projects that I'm creating for you guys. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video, hit the thumbs up button, and if you want to be informed whenever the videos
whenever new videos come up. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, have a good one.